Welcome to Transwest Truck Trailer RV here in beautiful Federal, Colorado. And as you guys could see, it is a snowy day out here. Hope you guys are remaining safe on the roads. It's a little bit slick. But what great weather to show off this 2018 Audi Q7 Premium Plus. This one just has a little bit over 40,000 miles. Going to go over some of the features on here. And I, I pray to you guys that you guys are going to love this unit. And of course, it is an all-wheel drive, so driving in the snow will be no headache. So let's go over this awesome looking unit. It is a 2018 Audi Q7 Premium Plus with just above 40,000 miles. It is a black exterior and of course it does have that 360 camera. So, if, so first you will see that camera below the Audi sign. You got your nice grill, of course, awesome headlights. And as we look underneath the hood, what you guys are looking at is a 3.0 liter V6 engine. And it's also partnered with an eight speed automatic transmission. This unit produces 333 horsepower and about 325 foot pounds of torque. When the vehicle came in on trade, we did run it through the shop. All changes are made, safety checks have been made. So this vehicle is ready and set to go. Also a clean Carfax, previous owner did take very good care of this vehicle. We got Michelin tires on here, 265 50R20s. Tons of tread. Almost looks like brand new tires on here. Coming around, it does have the keyless entry. As we look inside, we got the black interior. This one does come with memory seats. So your memory settings are on the door. Also, it does have power, power doors, power windows. You do have the automatic lock for the back. And this one is a push button for that, child lock. Also, you do have the folding mirror capability. Once you turn it around, the switch down here for heated mirrors. And when you put it center, it will give you that option to go left and right for power mirrors. So it does have that 360 switch here. Coming down here is your trunk release. It does come with the premium Bose sound system throughout this whole vehicle. Over here is your light controls. You do have a weather set in here so the lights will actually be on the road um, typically when this is off your lights are facing straight if you turn this on it will actually angle to the down on the road so you guys could see everything in front of you especially during foggy weather it does have a automatic or electric steering wheel tilt and all that works with the memory on this unit. This is your hood release right here. All Q7 WeatherTech mats. As we take a look in the back seat. <clears throat> Down at the bottom, we got two, <clears throat> excuse me. We got two 12 volt hookups. Center, you have your own AC controls with heated seats in the back. So the, pa the passengers in the back could control the AC and heat. And it's the same as the, the front. You have your universal where your passenger could tune their heat or coal the way they want it. So if your passenger behind the driver decides to go 70 degrees or 66 or want a little bit colder, 
he would have his he on he or her would have his own temperature setting. And of course, you do have that bow system on the back door as well. Hello, ashtray. And of course, you can lock your doors from here. As we come around back, we got the automatic release. This one does come in the third row. So you do have that capability of, of having seven passengers in total. And if you don't want that third row, you could actually fold those in electrically and have a full back here for storage. These are the switch, the switches to control those back seats or the third row seats. Storage here. Underneath here, you got your Bose subwoofer. You got a 12 volt air pump. And of course, you got the amplifier here to power up all your Bose speakers. This is to close your hood. And of course, it does come in for rear camera. And once we go inside, I'll show you guys what it looks like. We do have front and rear sensors, dual exhaust, and we do have a rack on top over the full panoramic sunroof. Your gas tank is located on the passenger side. I had, uh, I learned it the hard way and I know what to look for when I'm going to fill up. But when I went to put gas in this, I was pulled up the wrong way. So I had to do the whole spin around thing to get my, to get a fuel in. So I'll show you guys a trick once we go inside, what to look for or to know where exactly your your gas tanks are located again the passenger seat is electric as well so let's go inside let's get warm and i'll show you guys some of the features that come standard with this q7 premium plus i'm gonna dust on my feet ah. all right so right now you'll see the camera views up here this is your backup cam, that's a front view camera. And this is the 360 camera. And then now you could actually play around with those cameras and kind of see what it comes with. Let's go back. All right, so when it comes to the screen here, I'm gonna turn off the vehicle. Once the vehicle is turned off, that screen will actually turn off and go in so you have a flat surface when you're parked once you get into the vehicle and you start it up it is pushed to start that screen will automatically come up and there's so many different options with this when it comes to the settings you could actually go into the vehicle and choose the different drive um, Audi drive selections so you have off-road you got comfort Automatic will do, will adjust to the different conditions on the road. Dynamic and of course individual. So all those have the different parts to play. Uh, going back here, when it comes to the sound, you could tune the treble, bass, subwoofer, and of course all the different options here. Going down to your radio, that's where you'll get your satellite radio, FM, AM radio. I'm gonna go back. Media, that's where you'll connect your, your phone by USB or Bluetooth. Telephone, of course, you connect your mobile phone to this unit. Your navigation, this one does come in navigation. And the cool thing about this navigation is when you put your, your address in where you wanna go and it starts your navigation here and you wanna play around with the screen where you wanna maybe select music or want to see what music is playing you could use either screen so right here you could use a navigation on this screen right here or the navigation could be viewed right in front of you on the steering wheel between the steering wheel here on your dash so that will actually give you the same view that you will see on here so you could actually split those screens 
you want to put a navigation on here, you could do that. And then you could look at, you could check your date, your time. You could go and check your tire pressure right, right now because of the weather, we need to put air in those tires. Or you could go through your media, connect your phone. And of course, you could uh, toggle through all that. But the great view is to have your navigation directly in front of you, instead of having to look dead center on your navigational screen, you could check the view right here. This view could be uh, actually minimized, and then you have your, your gauges here, and you, you still have that navigation in the center. But for me, I kind of like the wider view, so I could concentrate on the road while driving, and of course, just look down for a little and see where my next exit is. So this is a nice little cool feature here. This one does come with heated steering wheel. It does have blind spot monitors. It does have your, uh, your parking sensors. This one does come with heated and cool seats. And of course, all your AC controls here. Down here is your mouse or keypad whatever you want to call it. You have all that located down here. You could actually switch from your navigation to telephone, and it will actually show it on the screen. Or you could go radio up or media, media down. This little control here is to turn off your stereo, or you could turn it back on, and you could switch to the different stations or different tracks on here. So by just pushing it from side to side will allow you to go back or uh, forward and then you have your volume control that will actually once you turn it it will increase the volume or decrease the volume your parking brake is electronic and of course up here you need whenever you need to go in drive or reverse you have to press this button right here push it up it's in reverse right now and then once it's once it engage in reverse you could just back it down and put it in drive and of course when you were when you're ready to park all you have to do is press this button right here the p right here a nice little storage here for your phone your keys this box is not really huge but it's a nice little storage box for coins or whatever you do have two usb ports and an auxiliary port in here your armrest is adjustable. All you got to do is just pull it forward or push it back. Typically, I like my hands all the way through. But again, some people have longer hands than I have or shorter hands. So whichever, whichever way you feel comfortable, that's the way you will go. Over here, we got some cup holders. You got a nice little storage here for your key as well. In here, you got your glove compartment with all your manuals. Rev mirror. Of course, you got your lights here. Just a little touch on the main light on the, on the bulb itself. You got your universal garage controls all up here. You got your, your light options if you want to turn the lights on or if you want to turn it on with opening the door. That's what this signal is for. And of course, you have your sunshade for your panoramic sunroof. Right now I'm closing it up and you guys can see it come through. Just pretty awesome how smooth it goes. And of course, a guy like me, I like to see, I like the sun to come through or even during the night having that panoramic sunroof, you can see the skies clear. My kids love looking up into, into those uh, panoramic sunroofs and look at the sky while we drive. It, sometimes you put them to sleep very quickly. <laughs> and of course, you got double shades here. You could actually open this up, extend it, and you could actually pull this one down. So you got double coverage for the sun if it's coming towards you. And for a driver too, most times, a lot of drivers don't use this, but this comes in handy, especially on a very bright day and the sun is on, you know, on the left, on the right side of you. You could do that. And he also has that feature here for the left side. 
Then of course, Audi does an amazing job when it comes to that. And of course, once you open the, the mirror, that light will come on. Just such a unique vehicle. And of course, you guys know Audi is one of the top luxury vehicles on the market. With the back seat, it does have sun shades, even though the back is tinted. You do have a sun shade for those windows in the back. And of course, I, lo I love to mention the mileage and stuff. So let's go back here. And it looks like we have about 42,000 miles on this unit. So if you guys are wondering and you have more questions about this unit, it is available as we speak at 303-684-3412 is my office number. Or you can call me or text me on my cell at 661-755-4344. Or you guys could email me at marlon.bledman at transwest.com. If you guys want any more information, I'll be happy to relay all that information to you, give you Carfax prices on AutoTrader and on our website. We also have photos on our website on transwest.com, Frederick location. All our photos on this is there. So if you guys have any questions apart from that, give me a call and I'll answer all those questions for you. In the meantime, stay safe out there. It's going to be a very slick day, so be safe if you're in Colorado or anywhere that have snow right now. I want to thank you guys for tuning in and I'll see you guys back here tomorrow. Thank you.